Welcome again to phase three of our four phase uh, checkout procedure. Uh, my name is Richard and we'll continue whether it is a temperature chamber, a temperature humidity chamber, oven, LN2 CO2 chamber. Um, it's got to go through this process here for recheck to ensure that everything is working properly. In addition to before it went to paint, we do it again to make sure that you're gonna get a chamber that is optimally working um, well. For example, once we have gotten the chamber back from paint, if there were any panels that were uh, taken off for paint, uh, they would be re-insulated, re-taped, and installed. For example, uh, most all these chambers if you want to just pan through them all that are actually rerunning all from paint uh, had some form of uh, putting panels back together. So in addition to that, so once we have uh, done all that uh, and hooked up the power, our next step on our recheck is to look at the order and ensure that all the options that uh, were on the chamber uh, ordered by by you the customer hopefully is um, on the chamber now as long as that has been done then we'll go ahead and we apply power to it ensure that the voltage is consistent with the voltage that you have and we're ready to run our our test our test run consists of hooking up a chart recording device to the chamber and running a temperature profile uh, going down medium temperature and high temperature and repeating that cycle four to five times uh, typically overnight or uh, between 24 and 48 hours. Uh, once that is done and we're happy with the recording uh, then we'll go ahead and run it to its very high extreme in the chamber and its low extreme in the chamber just to ensure that that is working properly. From that point our temperature test is done if it's just a temperature chamber, then we'll go ahead and wrap up all the uh, uh, cords. We'll label all your voltages. And so when you get the unit, it's just go ahead and plug in and go. After that, if you have a temperature humidity chamber, which we have three, actually four running right now, we'll go ahead and simulate and do humidity conditions. Uh, same as our temperature, we go ahead and we need to bring water to the chamber. Um, whether it's through a bucket or a research system, which this one has, uh, you can't see because our camera's over there, but we have a couple more research systems that are attached to the unit. So we hook up our water supply, whether it's a distilled or deionized. Uh, remember, we always want to keep it between 0.5 and 2.0 mega ohms uh, to ensure that the water's not too pure and uh, will hurt the chamber. Uh, from that, we'll go ahead and, and once we have hooked up water to it, we'll fill the boiler, we'll check the boilers. Uh, we'll make sure with glass bell jars you're able to see that they're clean. Uh, that's one of the processes that we do before uh, paint. Uh, but in addition, if we find that it's cloudy and we don't like it, uh, we'll typically pull the glass bell jar and put it in the solution. Um, the same thing with even enclosed um, systems, uh, for example, this one where during our checkout, if you recall, we've actually had to pull the uh, uh, humidifier and soak it in a solution and open it up and make sure everything was clean. We do five points uh, humidity test. Um, we will do a 25 degrees C, 90%, 60 degrees C, 90%, 85 C, 85, 40 degrees C, 85, 40, 50, and then again, 25 C, 20, and we'll repeat that at least one time. Uh, we do two hour soaks at each one of those temperatures and again we do a recorded device on it uh, which this one is doing right now uh, which is recording our profile now and this will run for the rest of the night and overnight until tomorrow morning and once I come in in the morning and I check this uh, and I see that it's it's ran fine and there's it looks really good from that point we'll drain the boil and we'll cool everything down drain the boiler, make sure it's nice and clean, and uh, we'll go ahead and do the exact same thing. We'll label all our electrical. We will change all our water filters. Um, for example, on the side here, I don't know if you can see it, 
All our demineralizing cartridges are brand new when we put them in there so you have a brand new cartridge starting fresh uh, if the chamber calls for it. From that point, after everything is uh, buttoned up and labeled, uh, in particular, all we make sure during our checkout, which I forgot to mention, is that our, our switches and event outputs, everything is clearly labeled on the chamber uh, so you know, in addition to a manual that will also go with the chamber uh, with uh, everything, and including schematics and and how to operate since in most cases controls have been changed have been changed uh, but in some cases the controls are haven't been changed and they're existing from the manufacturer which again you'll have full manuals and operation manuals on that some examples of a recirculation system which is water is supplied to a tank and a pump pumps the water to the boiler and any water that condenses in the chamber will go back into a condensate pump, pump back to the demineralizing cartridge to clean the water. Um, this is one setup. Another setup is to have a gravity uh, system where the tank is up on top, going down into the boiler, it condensates into a condensate pump. From there, it pumps back into a demineralizing cartridge and again pumps back into the tank so you're recirculating your water. Uh, one of the other kind of recording devices that are kind of nice, which is a, a, a data logger. Uh, the data logger is able to um, record uh, your temperature and your humidities on, onto a compact flash drive, and then of course being printed out on, on an Excel file or some other kind of file for storage instead of having um, basically a lot of paper once everything is completely done and we're satisfied, we're going to go ahead and get this thing ready to ship. Um, the insides are going to be cleaned out at the shipping department, which we'll show you in our phase four, where they will be checking again any kind of missing screws or anything that might have been missed from the two previous checkouts um, there. And uh, just, to just to let you know and assure you that you do have a full warranty on all our chambers, and one thing that I do not like is service calls. And that's why we do go through such a, a, a crazy long process of checkout, is so I can make sure that I've tried to take care of any kind of possibility of any having any failures out in the field. Uh, we've been doing this for 40 some odd years. I've been doing this for 35 years plus. Uh, so I may not know a lot, but one thing we do know is ovens, we know chambers, and that's our business. So thank you and meet us on Phase 4.